Good day everyone, my name is Anthony Bento, the IT Logistics of this Eviction of Public Building Group. And I'm here to present to you my group, Arisa Tubihara. This, she's here to report information. Eviction of Public Building. We often hear the term public building. And it is often associated with anomalies when that is in the government yards. Government and private companies often conspire for the same purpose to make money. Kickback. Kickback is a form of neg negotiated bribery in which a commission is paid to the bribe taker in exchange for service rendered. Generally speaking, the remuneration is negotiated ahead of time. According to the Republic Act 9184, is formally dated first one to Section 75 of Republic Act Number 9184, otherwise known as the Government Procurement Reform Act, for the purpose of prescribing necessary rules and regulation for the modernization, standardization, and regulation of the procurement activities of the government. Procurement. Procurement is a process of finding and agreeing to terms and acquiring goods, services, or works from an external source, often via a tendering or competitive buying process. Taxation. What is a no tax process? It is supposed to not payment but under payment of tax only. The term applies to anyone who earns income and does not require. Tax evasion, also no tax fraud. It is purpose of non-payment or underpayment of tax only. The term applies to anyone who earns income and doesn't, doesn't not report or hides the income by falsifying return of, or supporting the documents. Tax evasion is illegal, punishable by fine, imprisonment, or fraud. It is considered tax evasion is claimed for exception or deduction on a tax letter, accept kickback claim, paid documents, under legitimate paid to win tax file filed income. Huh? It's the maintenance of tax complainants. It's elected European. Oi, Bisha, Tangan, I'll win out, thanks. According to Christian Edward Holzer Mario, this study is computed estimated tax complainants in select European countries for value added tax, excess tax, personal income tax, and social security contributions using national countries' data together with data on locations, tax, structure, and revenue. <laughs> Five legal ways to reduce tax payments. Avail of another retirement plan. Even if there are already mandatory government plans for retirement, it is wise to avail of another one to reduce your taxes. If you avail of another retirement plan at work, in paper, you seem to have lesser salary because your gross income is adjusted due to your contribution for IRA. Declare dependent or dependents for additional exemptions. Although it may vary, every Filipino is entitled to a personal exemption of 50,000 pesos on the other hand. Not all can avail of additional exemptions for dependent individuals. Double declining depreciation. The double declining method is a depreciation method wherein your depreciation expense is higher in the earlier life of an asset. In turn, your deductions from gross income are higher at the early life of an asset, hence lesser at tax rate. Make some donations. Another part of the gross income deductions are charitable contributions or donations. If donations are increased, the tax liability is decreased due to a lower debt income. Hence, it is logical to donate some of your income to society if it reduces 
charitable, youth, or sports organizations, and even the government, for that matter, all over tax land. Drop all itemized deductions. As obvious as it may seem, it is important to point out that it is not the government's fault if you don't know that an item is to be included, or if you forgot to include an item that should be part of your item deductions. In that regard, the items that should be included in the itemized deductions are expenses, interest, taxes, losses, bad debts, depreciation, depletion of oil, gas wells, or mines, charitable and other contributions, research and development, pension costs, additional requirements for deductibility of certain payments, optional standard deduction and premium payments on health and hospitalization insurance. To sum it up, there are basically two ways to lessen your income tax liability. First is to reduce your gross income, and second is to increase your deductions. It's up to you to decide on which one to follow, and you must remember that there are more ways to legally reduce your taxes, other than what's mentioned above. You just have to explore and think beyond those.